Hi, my name is Dr. Becky Kuhn. I'm a physician who specializes in HIV AIDS. Welcome to Do I Have AIDS? Symptoms of AIDS. This video will discuss some of the symptoms of AIDS, which is a later stage of HIV disease. Our hope is that some people who've developed AIDS but do not yet realize it may watch this video and see a doctor to be evaluated. We also hope that people will encourage their friends who are experiencing these symptoms to see a doctor as well. It's important to realize that watching a video is no substitute for seeing a doctor and being evaluated in person. If you are feeling ill, please make an appointment to see a doctor and be evaluated. Regular medical checkups are an important way to diagnose many potentially serious conditions early. AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. It is a disease caused by the human immunodeficiency virus. When a person becomes infected with HIV, the virus begins attacking the person's immune system. Between 40 and 90 percent of individuals will briefly experience symptoms of HIV infection shortly after they've been infected. Our video, Did I Just Contract HIV? Symptoms of Primary HIV Infection explains these initial symptoms. Many people do not recognize symptoms of primary HIV infection. Even if they do, they and their doctor usually don't realize that HIV is the cause and the symptoms quickly disappear. For many years, the person infected with HIV may show no symptoms of being ill. In the developed world, HIV positive people look and feel healthy for 10 years on average before they develop symptoms of AIDS and some for much longer. A person can be infected with HIV and not even know it. It can take up to six months after being infected with HIV for ordinary tests to show that you are HIV positive. After a person has contracted HIV, even before they test positive, it's possible for them to pass the virus on to others. Our video, Brief Introduction to HIV and AIDS, discusses how HIV is transmitted and how to reduce your risk of contracting or transmitting it. When a person becomes infected with HIV, the virus begins attacking the person's immune system, specifically their white blood cells called CD4 cells. The uninfected individual has about 800 to 1,000 CD4 cells. If HIV does enough damage to the person's immune system, the person's CD4 cells will fall to a low level where they become vulnerable to infections that a healthy person's immune system would fight off. Without antiretroviral therapy and other medications, the person may die as a result. A person's diagnosis changes from HIV to AIDS when either their CD4 cells fall below 200 or they develop an infection that takes advantage of their weakened immune system called an opportunistic infection. So what are some of the symptoms that people with AIDS commonly experience? According to the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the symptoms include rapid weight loss, dry cough, recurring fever or profuse night sweats, profound and unexplained fatigue, swollen lymph glands in the armpits, groin, or neck, diarrhea that lasts for more than a week, white spots or unusual blemishes on the tongue, in the mouth, or in the throat, pneumonia, red, brown, pink, or purplish blotches on or under the skin or inside the mouth, nose, or eyelids, memory loss, depression, and other neurological disorders. If you have one or more of these symptoms, does it necessarily mean you're infected with HIV or have developed AIDS? No. Many common diseases can cause one or more of these symptoms. For example, most people with a fever or sore throat are probably just experiencing common illnesses such as cold, influenza, or mono. So don't panic. But if you have any of these symptoms and think there's even the slightest chance you might have ever been exposed to HIV, you should see a doctor and ask to be tested. 
If you have none of these symptoms, does it prove you're not infected with HIV? No. So don't assume you're HIV negative just because you've never experienced symptoms of primary HIV infection or AIDS. The United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend that all adults be tested for HIV at a routine doctor's visit regardless of whether they feel they are at risk for HIV. When you go to the doctor with any of these symptoms, it's very important to mention any risk factors you may have for HIV and ask to be tested. Doctors may not think to test a patient for HIV even though the CDC recommends it. If you ever had unprotected sex even once, used injection drugs, or think you might be experiencing primary HIV infection, make sure to tell your doctor and ask to be tested for HIV. So, protect yourself and those around you. If you haven't been tested for HIV already, get tested. If you're sexually active, practice safer sex to reduce your risk. And if you think you might have been exposed to HIV and are having symptoms similar to AIDS, don't delay. Go to the doctor right away and ask to be tested for HIV. This is Dr. Becky Kuhn.